Welcome to this video which looks at the new Netfort Spanport Configurator. My name is Darren Delaney, I'm Head of Technical Services here at Netfort. Once you've downloaded the Spanport Configurator, you just need to extract the two files contained within the zip. The README file here has got some useful information about the tool. Pay particular attention to the logon section here, uh, which talks about the type of access that we need for the switch. So you just need a user account on the switch to log on. To run the tool, just double click. You don't need to install. Type in the IP address of the switch that you want to manage. And a username password. If you don't have enable access to the switch, just tick the box here and type in the enable password as well. My own account does have level 15 access, so it's, it has that access right. And press connect. So it's verifying password and it's connected. At the top here, we can choose a span session. So there's one configured, there's one available. The configured one looks like it's monitoring some VLANs because I can see here the option here is select as boat, which means traffic has been monitored in both directions in VLAN 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the span port is port number one. So I'm going to configure a new span session. So I select the second session here. And I want to monitor VLAN 2. So from the drop down, I choose a source. And I want to monitor ingress and egress traffic. So that's traffic going in and out of the VLAN. And from the list of ports available, I choose a destination port. So that's my span port. That's where I'll connect my sniffer tool or whatever system I'm using to capture the data. Once you've done that, just apply changes to switch and it's done. So let's double check, make sure you yeah, have the second span session configured. We're monitoring VLAN 2. We scroll down here and we set the port 10 as the destination port. And that's my span session set up. The span port configurator will also create an auto trail of any changes that you make to your switches. To access the auto trail, just go to the folder where you've unzipped your span port configurator and under logs, you will have a entry here for each time that you use the tool and if you open up the text file, you can see in here any changes that were made to your switches. So it's quite a useful thing to have your auto trail for any changes that the span port configurator makes. 